Hello again, I'm Charlotte and you're watching The Hair Files Ritken SG, your guide to getting stylish hair. If you're looking for a way to spiff up your hairstyle or looking for a special look for a special occasion, you've come to the right place. on the runway this season and in this episode we're gonna show you how to get big bad hair voluminous crown with a bad component tail before we let our expert take over let's head to the street hello so how do you usually style your hair um i usually leave it down or i braid up my bangs um nothing special just curl it a little bit that's all have you ever thought about changing your hairstyle? Yeah, I do, but then my head is quite flat, so it would be better if it has small volume. Um, yeah, because my hair is straight, like, I usually have really flat hair, so I'd really like a volumized crown look. Let's head to the salon. Hi, my name is Eugene Long, Managing Director of Urban Hair by Jin Rich. I'm here to share with you guys on how to achieve step-by-step -step this big, bad volume hairstyles. And this is ideal for parties and evening wear. This pretty lady is Regine. We strongly recommended her with a shampoo, which is extreme shampoo, able to strengthen the hair and give some volume to the whole fine hair texture. Eugene recommends the extreme range for Regine, a fortifier for distressed hair. The extreme range will repair, strengthen, and protect her hair, leaving it looking and feeling healthier with increased manageability and shine. We're going to start doing hair right now by prepping with number eight. What you do is just keep it a little bit and just melt it on your pump. I find this one is workable and it controls every strength which you want to produce a beautiful texture. I'm not going to apply on wet hair because I need a lot of texture. Now once you have the right amount and you feel comfortable with it, we proceed to divide the hair into two sections. We have the front section and now we're working the very first step on the back section first. So we subdivided the hair again, put that away, brush it or comb it, clip it away and now we're going to work on the top section with the front back brush it. So we start from the crown area all the way back to the roots. We don't have to be very precise on each section but we just go create a little bit of volume and texture. We're going to use Phosphor 23 and lightly braid just to give a little bit of control. So we remove the lower section. We're just going to pan it down right to the nap area. Just use your tail comb, just puff it up a little bit. And what you're doing right now is just to pull opposite direction to create that very impromptu kind of texture. If you want a little bit secure, just pin one or two bobby pin at the nap area just to make sure you get it fixed and positioned. Okay, now we go to the front section on the right hand side and we're going to lightly back brush again. As we brush, we move backwards and we're going to secure with a bobby pin. Put the pin in between the hair and we rotate it and we just tuck it in. Now we're going to move to the next section on the left hand side. We're going to back brush a little bit, create that texture and keep the hair in place. Now we're going to spray a little bit with 23. Just run your finger, just go through it and make sure it's just connected, impromptu. You can do the same thing, just clip a bobber pin, roll it, and then you just tuck it in between. And we're going to put a little bit more extra pin just to secure the hair in place. At the fringe area is very optional, which you can just tuck it above your ear, or just leave it loose. And the last section of the back where the nap area, the ponytail is, what you do is just use your finger just to back brush a little bit to create that so cold, fluffed out, while looking ponytail. If you want to secure even further, pull out a single strength and you just push the rest of the hair backwards. The final touch is just give a light spray all over. And this is how she looks like for a quick updo. First, 
your hair with Eric 08 for texture. Divide the hair into three portions, a front, crown, and back segment. Working on the back segment first, comb it down. On the crown segment, take the hair by portions and back comb it for texture. Spray on Forceful 23 for control. Tie up the crown and back portions in a low ponytail. Pull the ponytail hair in opposite directions for added texture. Spray on Forceful 23 to set the crown and back portions. Take the front right portion and lightly back comb the hair. Use a bobby pin near the end of the hair, roll it up, and pin it down. Repeat the step for the left hand side. Spray on Forceful 23 to set the front portion. With the ponytail, use your fingers to gently brush back to create more volume and texture for the ponytail. To secure the ponytail, swirl small portions of the hair single out a strand and push back with the hair. To finish off the look, spray on Fosco 23. So there you have it, big bad hair. For more tips and tricks from our experts, we'll see you next time on The Hair Files, Rick and SG.